Alright, so back to doing some tutorials. It's been a, a few days since I've been able to get to doing anything close to what I've wanted here. Um, in this tutorial, it's uh, before we jump into Box 2D, uh, which is actually going to be next. Um, I'm going to show you how to take some input from the keyboard and the mouse and uh, make these uh, shapes move. So let's go ahead and get started. It's pretty basic. We already have everything pretty much done for us. All we have to call is an if statement and call game get input and then is the key down and then sf key and let's say for this one I'll do escape and when escapes press let's make the game close so when the escape key is pressed close the game alright now that we have that uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be able to hit the escape key instead of having to hit the X all the time it gets a little redundant so next uh, let's uh, do some mouse input so let's go if game get input is mouse button down and we'll go SF mouse and let's say left button alright and this will handle what happens when we're pressing the left mouse button now let's go else if game get input is mouse button down SF mouse and we'll go right okay now in the left mouse button statement let's go if game get input is key down SF let's say key and let's say A now we'll use that to move one of our objects we'll make the left mouse button being held down while pressing A and D on the keyboard to move the shape and then we'll use the holding the right mouse button down and pressing A and D to move the image we created so let's go back down here else if game get input is key down SF key and D and we'll handle the statement in there for that and now let's add some statements to the right mouse button so it's pretty much going to be the same as this so we can go ahead and copy and paste and now we'll start by making it move something so let's see our shapes name was box so box dot move and then it asks for a vector move so a moves along the x-axis so let's go since it's on the negative value let's do negative one and zero okay and it'll be the opposite for D so box move one zero okay and for this one it'll be sprite move it's pretty much the same thing um, they actually did a pretty good job at making things pretty easy to use in SFML uh, especially for what it offers so let's do the opposite here and one zero alright add a couple statements here and if the 
the right mouse button is down and A or D is pressed, move the sprite. Now let's go ahead and run it. We'll build it, see if we get any errors. It's taking a second. I'm running some background stuff on the computer. So it's taking a little bit longer than normal. Alright, it succeeded. Now let's go ahead and start debugging it. Alright, there's that familiar window we know so well. Hold down the left mouse button. You see that shape moves. Hold down the right mouse button. You see the, the uh, sprite move. Um, we can go ahead and close that using the escape key and the escape key again and that pretty much concludes uh, this tutorial we've shown you how to use mouse input keyboard input and uh, how to move your shapes and your sprites um, it was pretty simple took a little bit longer than normal but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up and I'll see you on the next tutorial where I introduce box 2d and how to create the world